one and a half miles for three-year-olds next. So, potential Derby and Oaks horses in this one. We've got Albus Dumbledore at the top for Dan Hughes. Hunting down and whoosh. For Martin Leader, Midnight Express, Matt Cooper, Vertimus Colo for Paul Parsons, Napaville Finder, Vinnie Gerard, Oval Christine, Alex Cherry, Quality Hives, Darren Thompson, Perugino Terrier, David Robertson, Blown by the Wind, and White Lady Grey, Derek Hinton, and Full Time and Loose Edge for Munas 13. Then, ready they go, and away they go. Oh, the Lancashire Oaks trip, I think this is, isn't it? More half a Haydock, but it's Full Time who's burst out into the lead. Albus Dumbledore, the first of a bunch of greys. There's four greys. We didn't have that many greys around last season. Maybe we're going to get a few more next season. But it's full time was in the lead at the moment from Midnight Express, who's now been driven up to join that one and take a share of the lead as they go through the first couple of furlongs. Vertumus Colo is now in the third, then blown by the wind, and Albus Dumbledore, Woosh and White Lady Grey are next, and then Oval Christie looking towards the back, Napaville Finder, the Vinnie Gerard Grey in the two shades of green is just about the back marker, alongside Perugino Terrier, or David Robertson, but Midnight Express and Full Time are sharing the lead at this point, they've got a mild still to race, uh, they've got a two to three length lead. Over Blown by the Wind and Vertumus Colo, Quality Hives and Albus Dumbledore in Oval Christine joining that little line as well. As they pass the seven pole with Midnight Express just having poked its head in front then there. Full time on the inside is second. There's a gap of four lengths then to Vertumus Colo on the rail. White Lady Graham blown by the wind next then Oval Christine and Quality Hives and Albus Dumbledore is there as well, right on the inside, that one tracking that one is Huntingdale, then a gap to Loose Edge, Perugino, Terrier and Napaville Finder and Woosh is now the back marker, he's going to have to go Woosh to get past them all, but it's full time who's in the lead, Midnight Express is in second, Vertimus Colo now being pulled out for a run in third, leaves Albus Dumbledore with a clear run up the inside, blown by the wind, is now coming up the centre of the track to throw down a challenge, also trying to run on there, Quality Hives, Huntingdale and White Lady Grey, but it's full time in front, they've got just over three furlongs to go, and it's full time now. Two lengths clear from Virtumus Cola, who's throwing down a bit of a challenge. Here comes Albus Dumbledore, absolutely flying, who's come through, and the one that's weaving through the pack on the inside is Loose Edge. But it's Albus Dumbledore who's taking it up. Two furlongs to go, and it's Albus Dumbledore from full time, blown by the wind. White Lady Grey, and then Loose Edge. Virtumus Cola after that one with Perugino Terrier trying to run on, but it's Albus Dumbledore with a furlong to go. Albus Dumbledore in front from blown by the wind, closest to who's trying to rule the leader in but he's not going to I don't think he's going to be Albus Dumbledore who's going to take it as they race up towards the line it's a winner for Dan Hughes as Albus Dumbledore takes it from Blow More the Wind second Loose Edge was third then Perugino Terrier Quality Hives ran on well Midnight Express dropped right out to be last and Dan Hughes knew when he was winning the classics is that one he's got for the Derby next season Albus Dumbledore Took that one nicely. Always travelled well. Blown by the wind second for Derek Hinton. Loose edge for Munas. That ran a good race as well. In third. Perugino Terrier for David Robertson was fourth. And Napaville Finder for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. All those coming on from the back. And worth noting there, Paul Parsons, a new trainer. That Virtuous Colo ran a really good race. And if that's the sort of quality you've got, then you'll definitely be competitive in handicaps next season.